Alright everyone, little video update here on the Thunderbolt 1003 restoration progress. Um, as you guys may remember, this uh, gear reducer here was totally broken. Got lots of lots of parts for it there that uh, aren't quite how they were from the factory. So, brought that over to my machine shop uh, buddy and uh, he figured probably four to five hours to get it right. Um... So I uh, left it at that and and uh, went on the siren board and Eric Green sent me that there. So got a replacement base with the stock gearbox. Um, gearbox works fine, mesh is perfect. So that is back to original how that should be. So that part of it is done. Um, got two new uh, rotator belts here from the hardware store. Um, in case any of you are wondering, for your own Thunderbolt, 4L320 is the size. Um, that's the size that came off, so so that's the size I got. Um, sheet metal update for you, like I said I was going to do. Stayed in town, so I got to hammering. Um, and uh, got them pretty much straightened out. You saw this one here. This one was the one that was super mangled. Um, had the side sheared out on it. I hammered that as best as I could, but I still wasn't satisfied. So, cut that portion off. Welded a new portion on that I made. I still have to uh, get a light grit uh, flap wheel and, and finish that rounded corner there, but it'll essentially, after it's done, it'll look like one piece, like it did from the factory here, where it's just bent over. But, uh, on the on the break at work, I uh, did these these bends here and everything. So so uh, that portion of the rotator box is back to how it should be. Um, so that's looking a lot better. Um, that panel, that access panel, is uh, is in good shape. So I actually didn't even touch that today. This one here hammered back pretty pretty straight needs a little work but really not bad compared to how it was and here's the top piece the top piece is in great shape now um, these were all bent down uh, real ugly looking so so uh, got that all taken care of there um, so not uh, not much sheet metal work left on the rotator there it's uh, Next step, I think, is going to be finish the finish up the welds and uh, probably uh, start stripping, getting ready for paint. Um, this motor, we talked about that, six hundred and ninety-five bucks at the motor shop. As it turns out, I didn't want them to do this, but they did it anyhow. Part of that estimate was them working on my solenoid bar here. Those wires weren't stripped when I uh, gave it to them, but they're stripped now. Um, so they're gonna do the helicoils. I guess one of these is bad according to them. Um, so they're gonna get me a new one of them. And then uh, they said they were gonna uh, turn and undercut the commutator. But that uh, brought that over to my machine shop buddy today too. And he said that, uh, that that's perfectly round. He stuck it on his lathe and, and checked it. 100% round. The mica wasn't raised so he uh, he hit it with the whetstone or the white stone and and uh, got her got her back pretty again. Um, my issue was, as it turns out in the end here, not enough power going to it. Um, we were giving it 110 over there and it was just humming and buzzing and everything. And I gave it 230 and it started right up. So so that was the issue. With these, you really need to run them. If you're going to run them at 110, you got to run it off the 110 off of your RCM 1, 1B or A panel. Um, that steps it down from two, true 220 down to down to a nice powerful 110. So that's if you want to run her at level 1. But uh, So that's good news there. It saved me 695 bucks. Went to Napa Auto Parts this morning. Got 6202-2RSJ. These are the right bearings for the Thunderbolt. 25 bucks a piece, but uh, but I got them. They had them. Um, so those are them. I'm going to get one more set. They they only had two on hand, so get one more set for the other one here. But uh, 
but yeah there's uh there's your update for now um next step i guess is uh it's gonna be stripping getting ready for repaint so i just have to drill two holes on the top like there are over here one on each end and then i need to drill the holes uh for those screws there so that's nothing though um hard parts done so uh yeah i think that's about it thank you for watching